Hi, and welcome back to DBU. I want to take a moment to thank you, the viewer, for watching. I realize there's a lot of content out there to choose from, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch me here. So today we're finally going to delve into an audio topic, signal flow. One of the reasons I spend so much time laying the groundwork for electricity early on is because if you understand how electricity flows, well then you'll understand how audio moves within a circuit much easier. So at the very front of our signal chain, we have our sound source. It could be an instrument with a mic or a line level signal like a synth. The audio signal typically travels down a wire to its first destination, a patch bay. Patch bays are basically large panels that ideally have the input and output connections for every device in the room terminated on it. This allows the user to quickly reconfigure their equipment to suit a session's needs. The signal then normals or is hardwired to the next link in our path, which is the preamp. For purposes of our discussion today, we're going to use a Neve 1073 as our example. Unlike other preamps, the 1073 has a few separate gain stages associated with it, rather than one big gain stage. The first stage is the line input, and the other two are the mic gain stages, as demonstrated here. The preamp is essentially a series of small amplifiers that boost the low-level signal found outside the console to something the system can handle inside. It can add upwards of 70 dB a gain, or even more. There's a reason the 1073 has separate gain stages, but I'm not going to get into that now. Keep in mind, every preamp design has its own sonic character, so don't expect any two to sound alike because they won't. This is why studios have a selection of several on hand. They can really add color to your sound. Next in the signal chain is the equalizer. This is essentially a filter network that allows for the tone shaping of the audio signal. Most of you are probably familiar with them already. The 1073 has its EQ physically married into the preamp section, which has helped preserve its value in the studio despite its age, simply because they're easy to integrate and put into use outside the console. Plus, it's an incredible sounding tool. Just like no two preamp designs sound the same, no two EQ designs sound the same either. Every EQ has its own character, which is why you see such a variety of them in a modern studio. After the audio signal leaves the EQ stage, it's routed back to the patch bay, allowing the user to access the channel's insert point. The insert is how we route the signal to external hardware, like a compressor or a gate. After the insert point, we find the auxiliaries. The auxiliaries are an additional way of routing the signal out the channel, but with the provided inline fader to control the gain. Each aux routes through another amplifier stage, the aux master. It effectively allows the user a way to adjust the overall aux level, but without affecting the mix. After the aux, we finally arrive at the channel routing or bus. The bus is how we route the signal out a channel into a recorder. You'll notice on my Neve 8014 that my 1883 routing module has this reversed. The auxes are below the channel routing. This is unconventional and yet typical for early desks. Remember that when this board was built in 1972, console design was still being fleshed out. So many features we're used to seeing, phantom power being an example, don't arrive on the scene until later. The bus levels are all controlled via the channel fader, which is the long slider at the bottom of the console. Of course, above that is a channel mute and solo, which allow for signal muting or channel auditioning. There is a definite way to adequately control and optimize this level as the signal travels through the channel. But we're running short on time, so we'll have to pick that up on our next demonstration, gain staging. This is all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. 
We have much more content coming your way, so definitely check back soon.